Jacksonville State University is home to 8,500 college students, and 340 of them are student athletes. This documentary will give you a glimpse into the life of a JSU athlete and how they balance succeeding in the classroom, excelling at their sport, and maintaining a social life. Jacksonville State University football has won a total of 22 conference championships, as well as one national championship in 1992. What is your most memorable moment at JSU? Oh, my most memorable moment at JSU has to be my first game against UNA. Didn't really realize how many people there were until we went out for the first field goal or the first PAT, and I looked up in the stand. I was like, "Crap!" Which school do you enjoy beating the most? Um, I'd probably have to say it's a tie between EKU and CMO. Because EKU is always a really good rival of ours, but SEMO always plays us like very tough and very aggressive, and it's always a good game. All right, so best part about playing football at JSU? I don't want to sound arrogant when I say this, but winning. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, we just won fourth consecutive conference, and uh, that's something that I guess hasn't been done in the OVC. That's something that's pretty special to me because um, – some people say legacy, but my dad kicked here way back when he was on the 92 team. Um, so that's something that's kind of special to me. I've got more rings than him, but he's got one that's more significant than mine. What would you guys say is the most challenging part about being a college athlete? Time management. Having to balance everything, for sure. And getting up at 4.30 in the morning for workouts and then having to get down, get down with that, studying for a test, going to class, going to class all the way up until practice. Having practice, getting done at six, coming out, eating dinner, and then going right back and studying and trying to balance the social life along with that. That's by far the hardest part is having to keep everything in line. You just really have to schedule out everything, mm-hmm. like even 10 and 15 minute naps here and there are worked into the schedule. Yeah, like really the first, I'd say two to four weeks of the semester, really when you figure out all right, when can I do this, when I have time to study, when can I nap, when can I go eat? And that's really that's really when you realize like when, when everything's going to happen through the rest of the semester, and you can plan out accordingly. So how strict is Coach Gross on grades, and are there consequences for underperforming in the classroom? So we have this beautiful thing called Breakfast Club. It's not fun. It's not fun. It's for anyone who has Ds or Fs in classes, and... Or if you like miss tutoring or miss classes or just yeah. being stupid. It's at six o'clock in the morning on Wednesdays, uh, right out here on the field, and basically they just run the living crap out of you, make you roll, just make you tired, make you sick, to get it through your head that you will. We have a certain expectation here; you're going to meet mm-hmm. it in everything, whether it's football, the way you handle yourself, or your grades. There's a certain expectation. Yeah. Jacksonville State University softball has accounted for 15 conference championships as well as eight NCAA tournament appearances. What is your most memorable moment at JSU? Um, My most memorable moment would probably be last year. um, We were hosting Ole Miss at our field. Um, They were, you know, doing really well in the SEC. The game went on. We played our first seven innings. It was still tied. Um, we ended up playing, was it 11 innings, nine innings? I think it went up to like 12. I think it was like 11, 11 or 12 12. innings, and we ended up having four home runs that game, and we won on a walk-off, and that was probably like the most excited softball game I've ever been a part of, period. What is the best part about playing softball at JSU? Um, I really think it would have to do with the teammates that you're surrounded by, and it's not so much of – oh, I'm just showing up for work. It's like, oh, I get to play the game that I love, like, with my family, with my sisters. So I think that's, yeah. What would you say is the most challenging part about being a college athlete? Um, the most challenging part, getting enough sleep. <laughs> if I could have, like, 40 hours in a day, I'd be doing good. But because we usually have to get, get to wait around, like, 5.30 in the morning and then go to class and then two-and-a-half-hour practice in the afternoon and, 
just really time management was like my biggest transition whenever I started playing ball and probably just still my biggest struggle. How do you balance school and softball during softball season? Honestly, it's hard. I don't really know how I do it, but um, on the long bus trips, we get a lot of time to really do homework there. And then in the lobby, you do homework. So there's opportunities if you actually use them. How strict is Coach McGinnis on grades? And are there consequences for underperforming in the classroom? Actually, there is a consequence this year. Um, if you don't have a 3.0 or higher, you do not get a walkout song before you're at bat. <laughs> But what we do is um, coaches will handpick uh, players on their team, and then the team with the overall highest GPA gets a new pair of shoes. So all of the um, softball players are really motivated to make good grades. The Jacksonville State University rifle team has won a total of 10 conference championships, receiving their most recent in 2015. This is, rifling's not a well-known sport. So kind of explain, uh, you know, like what gun do you use? How does the scoring system work? Kind of explain that to us. Yeah, so uh, yeah, there's there's two different guns, small bore and air rifle. And small bore is just like a, a single shot 22. Uh, and air rifle is just, you know, essentially an air rifle. Um, and the scoring is pretty simple. You shoot 60 shots per gun. Air rifle's all standing. So, you know, offhand, no support whatsoever. Um, and each shot is worth a maximum of 10 points, so you get 600 per gun, so a maximum of 1,200. And the 10 rings, the size of a period on 12-point font. A good, always, a good yeah. rifle score, you hit the 10 at least 50 times, so out of 60. So. Okay, what would you say is the most challenging part about being a college athlete? Time management, Yeah, because we have to practice from here, we're here from 1 to 5. And then that takes out a, such a big part of your day. And then you're, you're just mentally drained by the end of practice. And at that point, you still have to go back and study for classes and get all that stuff done. So just mainly time management for everything. Yeah, I agree with that. Just... Uh, Why did you guys choose JSU in general? Um, I wanted something different from Pennsylvania. I didn't really want super cold winters. I, didn't really, I just wanted a whole different atmosphere for four years since I have the opportunity to go somewhere different. So I figured I would take that opportunity. So what is the best part about being a, a member of the rifle team at JSU? Uh, I would say the benefits that we get. Like we can miss class and, you know, it's a little <laughs> bit more lenient. And uh, a, whole lot of the, a whole lot of the professors like the rifle team just because it's, you know, it's different. Not many people do it. So it's, yeah. it's, it's sometimes not fair to other, you know, non-athletic students, but we get a couple benefits, I'd say. That's probably the best thing for me, at least. Yeah, I like I like how it's just a benefit, how it's just something different. It's something that like most people don't know what this is. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's just something completely different. Right. What are some of the key things like you need to do to be successful in school as well as right Never put the sport before school. Ever, ever, ever. Because um, I know there's a, there's a couple people on our team, and any team, I'm sure, that come here and they, they, they love their sport so much that they kind of dis disregard school. Well, if you disregard school, then you can't participate in your sport. So I would definitely say always take class first. I would say, like, if something bad starts happening, just to try fixing it right away. Don't put anything off. Like, if you start having a bad grade in the class, go fix it. That way you don't end up failing the class, so you can still do it. And then same with anything. Like, it, like if something goes wrong, you can fix it so it doesn't get worse. Jacksonville State University men's basketball has accounted for 14 conference championships as well as one national championship in 1985. What is your most memorable moment at JSU? Uh, for me, it would have to be winning the tournament last year. That was very exciting. I had to say the same thing, but also making a history in school, like, um, you know, just starting the program for the bidding programs. Uh, just winning more games than they usually do, and just you know building the relationship for the to last forever, I guess. What is the best part about being a part of the basketball team at JSU? I would say it's a brotherhood. You know, you have people who have your back. Uh, it's just a lot of just just a family, really. You know, for the new players that come in, like freshmen or transfers, they 
they don't really go to fraternities or something like that, so they don't know people. So when they get here, it's just, you know, they already have some people to, to talk around, be around with friends, you know. So I think that's that's the best part. What would you say is the most challenging part about being a college athlete? Uh, time management. Yeah, you have a lot to do in a short amount of time. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes you're gone on the road for a week, so you really don't go to class. You really don't know what's going on, so it's kind of difficult. How do you balance school and basketball during the season? You know, you have academic advisors, and you have tours, you have classmates, uh, you have t teammates that go to the same class sometimes. So you just get together, you work for the, for academics, and then it's just you just go day by day. Try to build a schedule, get stuff done. Yeah, a week ahead of whatever you had to do. How strict is your coach on grades, and are there consequences for underperforming in the classroom? Of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah, he's very strict. If you don't, if you don't too, if you don't do too good, you're not gonna play. Yeah, or you gotta get up at six a.m. Uh, push some sleds. So. <laughs> yeah, he just basically like a death punishment. Yeah, you just gotta do whatever. push a sled up and down the court as many times, times. as they want. Yeah. yeah, as many times as they want. So. Explain your experience in Indianapolis last year versus Louisville in the NCAA tournament. Crazy. Yeah, it was great. It was fun. It, it was, was fun. fun. Not just you know, not just playing, but the whole experience, staying in the hotels, uh, getting the police escorts to the games, practices, and stuff like that. You know, cameras everywhere. You know, foot in the locker room. <laughs> there are 16 sports programs at Jacksonville State University that have a total of 119 conference championships and six national titles. These student athletes work hard in the classroom and devote countless hours at their sport to make JSU successful. Take time to go out and support these athletes. And as always, go Gamecocks!